Welcome back to Harvest Land TV. Today we're gonna to be doing an over-the-counter archery mule deer hunt in Flagstaff, Arizona. Last year we did this hunt on August 20th. We headed up and on August 21st, we were able to start hunting. Uh, it took us three days to end up tagging out. It was a really tough hunt. I missed like two deer and I was down to my very last arrow. Uh, that video will be linked above if you wanna check that out. Uh, that was a very awesome hunt, very hard hunt. And But we're back in the same area a year later in 2020 we're up, up there we're gonna stay see what we can get and see if we can shoot anything if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please hit that subscription button to support us and hit that notification bell to watch future videos thanks for watching and stay tuned be blessed Him and, he, and then he tried to stand up again, and then I just pulled him through his throat, and then yeah. he just laid back down. But how, yeah. so how far was the first shot? F uh, 60. Good 60 shot. yards. Yeah, that's a good shot. Well, he was walking. Dude, he's so, a nice size block, dude. He's not bad. The does, the does were kicking him. The does were pissed. They were walking right past Caden, like literally from me to Caden, like blowing at him. Like everyone would walk past him, and I could hear him. <laughs> and then they just keep going, and then there was like three left with him, and dude, he was just balls deep in this little bush, just, <laughs> just going crazy, dude. <laughs> And then that's right when Albert was, was that, that's right when Albert was like, that doe's guard? experience. Was that heading towards the cattle guard? Is that doe that blew at you? <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, so yeah, it was, it was pretty cool, man. It worked out pretty well. Yeah. I mean, the shot wasn't the best, you know, I could have so definitely. So what? You, you shot it right there. I can't look at that. I know, that's, that's what I'm ridiculous. looking at. I was, like, I was like, dude, you heard of that? <laughs> yeah, I told you slip cams, dude. Slip cams, it's where they're at. Uh, they're they're old school, but man, that's that's all I'm ever gonna shoot. I got I got a couple older guys that would be yelling at you right now. What for the shot? Yeah. yeah like you don't ever shoot a buck like that. You don't <laughs> shoot them to be because you know you're gonna kill them right there. I did know I was gonna kill them. I shot right. slip cams. <laughs> all I had to do was touch them. <laughs> hey, the day's still young, man. I think we could all go fill tags. I'm gonna. So you know what this means, Travis. Yeah, that now I'm filming you. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go. Now you're filming nights. me. Now you're filming me. Now you're filming me. Dude, I'm totally dude, that was literally my thought. Like when I seen I mean I knew he was small, you know. Yeah. I was like, yeah, whatever. Put some meat in the freezer and then we could just go worry what about What was I talking to you about two weeks ago? Like yeah. I will roll anything I see right now. Right. 
Got him. He's down. He's on the ground. That was a 60-yard shot. I think I hit him a little bit back. But... Man. Oh, man. He's on the ground. Arrow's still in him. Nice, dude. <laughs> well, you know, archery hunting, everyone knows, isn't easy, all right? Maybe out east, even then though, when you're just sitting in tree stands, it's cold, it's either really cold, really hot, miserable, you're standing or sitting all day waiting for something to walk by. Archery hunting is not easy. And hunting in general isn't easy, but especially archery hunting. And especially up here in Flagstaff, there's deer all over. They're just little spikes. Uh, there's a few good ones, but you don't hardly ever see them. It's very, very difficult to, to find them and be able to put a, a stock on them and uh, without getting busted. But fortunately, this is two years in a row we've been able to tag out up here in Flagstaff, Arizona. And I really enjoy hunting up over here. Uh, I think next year we're gonna go somewhere else, make it a little bit more challenging. Uh, because most of these deer are newborns this year, one year old uh, deer, and they don't know any better sometimes, and they kind of just look at you and keep on moseying on. But uh, but it's a good hunt. It's a good way to practice to get uh, comfortable with shooting an animal. If you're just getting into archery hunting, it gives you a little bit of a taste of how it is in Arizona to archery hunt because you have to put a stock on, and it's hard. You know, last year alone, I probably put on like 10, 15 stocks, and none of them. You know, well, I missed two. <laughs> But, uh, you know, a lot of the times they just run off and they, you get busted and uh, it just sucks. So it gives you a, a little bit of practice, a little bit of taste of what it's like to, to stalk deer in Arizona. And it's not easy. It's tough. This trip alone, I probably did about five to ten stalks. And they either wind you, see you, hear you, and, or they just run off or they, you don't get a good clean shot. Um, but it's about taking, having patience and taking your time and making a clean and ethical shot. Uh, it's not easy to do and not all the time can you do it uh, and even the experts slip up sometimes and make a bad shot so it's just good to get out there and do a little bit of practicing and get ready for some of the big hunts that you have coming up in your life whether whatever that be Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're up here a year later again um, with a smaller buck, horn-wise. But body-wise, this buck is a lot, a lot bigger than my uh, buck last year. Um, it was a pretty tricky shot. Uh, it was in the bushes, and uh, he was 60 yards out when I ranged him, and he took a few more steps, and so I just kept it at 60, but there were so many does around him. The first time I ranged him, I didn't want to shoot because I had a doe's head right by him, and there was does all around, and then when he finally gave me a shot and took a couple steps away from the does, I was able to make a clean shot, but it's just so easy to be able to, or it's just so easy to mistake the buck for the doe and all that especially when they're so tiny so you just really got to make sure you have a clean shot on your animal make sure you know what you're shooting at before you shoot and just stay calm cool and relaxed um unfortunately you know it can be very hard to do that when i took took the shot i uh had him at 60 and I don't know, you know, I, I hit him back, I think. I hit him pretty far back, and uh, I was pretty confident on the range, but I hit him far back. But it immobilized him, and he didn't go anywhere. Uh, we were able to come up here. I flung another arrow in him just to try and uh, to take him down, and then I just ended up coming up and slid in his throat, so to put him out of his misery. But uh, it's a good buck. It's going to be good meat. I'm really thankful for it. Thank you, Lord, for supplying this deer for me and uh, putting food on my table. Also, I forgot to mention, I got uh, the Slick Trick uh, broadheads is what I used. And these broadheads are pretty cool. 
Uh, first time I ever used them. So the first shot, you know, completely immobilized them. I have yet to see where I shot them at, um, but I know it was back right. But yeah, these slick tricks, um, I did not get a perfect shot on him and it just put him straight down in his tracks. You know, I hit a little bit further back on the body, but uh, at 60 yards, these slick tricks really did the work. Well, what an epic hunt that was. Uh, you know, I shot him at 60 yards. I ranged him at 60. He took a few steps. Then I figured I ain't gonna range him again, putting that thing down. He's probably 60, maybe a little more. So I aimed a little high, I put, the, I put the sight right on his spine. And I guess he was at 60 still because I hit him right in the spine. And that's what was able to keep, keep him down on the ground. He wasn't able to run away or anything like that. Uh, my left and right was good. If I would have just aimed right on the heart, I probably would have hit the heart so, uh, or aimed a little bit lower. But it was a good shot. It was a good kill. Uh, it was a little, wasn't a like, clean kill right away, but with archery hunting, they always run, run away, lay down, and slowly die. So. Instead of him running away, he just stayed right where he was at. But we are able to get a couple arrows in him, get him down ethically, and harvest ourselves an uh, Arizona Flagstaff, or not an Arizona Flagstaff, a Flagstaff Arizona Mule Deer. So it was a pretty epic time. A lot of great guys we were out camping with. I really enjoyed having time with them and getting to videotape a few of their hunts. And uh, hopefully they start tagging out. And yeah, I'm just blessed to have this deer. I'm super happy and I just thank God every day that he supplies for me and gives me everything I need. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please hit that subscription button and that notification bell because it really helps out the channel, helps support what we're trying to do, which is take out veterans and active duty personnel out hunting and fishing. Right now we're just kind of doing fishing. Um, I just getting overwhelmed with a lot of stuff going on. So just focusing on fishing. What I want to do is be able to take a uh, active duty veteran or just a veteran in general with me on some of these trips and get them up here hunting and stuff like that. It's a little difficult because not all of them have bows and stuff like that, but that's the goal anyways, to get them out here, get them hunting, get them fishing. And so by subscribing to the channel, you really support us. So please hit that notification bell. I greatly appreciate it. And y'all take care and be blessed.